Coming to the first problem, find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So the first polynomial given to us is x square minus 2x minus 8. So in order to find the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial, we need two integers such that their sum must be equal to minus 2 and product must be equal to minus 8. So by method of splitting, we can write the given quadratic polynomial as x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. So that minus 4 plus 2, the sum is minus 2 and the product minus 4 and 2 is minus 8. So minus 4 and 2 satisfy the two conditions of the sum and the product that is x square minus 4x plus 2x and minus 8. So taking x as common we get x minus 4 plus 2 times of x minus 4 which is x minus 4 times of x plus 2. So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial the given polynomial x square minus 2x minus 8 must be equated to 0. x square minus 2x minus 8 can be written as x minus 4 times of x plus 2 which is equal to 0. So we can say that x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So transposing minus 4 to right hand side we will be getting x is equal to 4 and transposing plus 2 to right hand side we will be getting x is equal to minus 2. So the zeros of the given polynomial are 4 and minus 2 and sum of the zeros is equal to 4 plus of minus 2 which is 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. So this 2 can be written as minus of minus 2 divided by 1. So if we observe minus 2 is nothing but it is coefficient of x and in the denominator in place of 1 we can write the coefficient of x square we can say that the sum of the zeros is equal to negative of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square so now the product of the zeros is equal to Four multiplied by minus 2 which is equal to minus 8 so minus 8 can be written as minus 8 by 1 if we observe minus 8 is a constant term so we can write constant by 1 is nothing but the coefficient of x square therefore we can say that the product of the zeros is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. Coming to the second bit which is 4s square minus 4s plus 1. So let p of s be a polynomial which is equal to 4s square minus 4s plus 1. So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial p of s, we need to factorize the given polynomial. So 4s square minus 4s plus 1 can be written as 4s square minus 2s minus 2s plus 1. This is equal to 2s times of 2s minus 1 minus 1 times of 2s minus 1. So we can take 2s minus 1 as common, we will be getting 2s minus 1 times of 2s minus 1. 
So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial, we need to equate the polynomial to zero. We will be getting 2s minus 1 times of 2s minus 1 is equal to zero. So we can write 2s minus 1 is equal to zero and 2s minus 1 is equal to zero. Transposing minus 1 to right hand side, we will be getting 2s is equal to 1 and in the similar manner, here also we will be getting 2s is equal to 1. Therefore, s is equal to 1 by 2 and s is equal to 1 by 2. The zeros of the polynomial are 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. So, sum of the zeros is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1. So, 1 can be written as minus of minus 4 divided by 4. This is equal to minus of minus 4 is nothing but the coefficient of s. And 4 is the coefficient of s square. Therefore, we can say that the sum of the zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of s divided by coefficient of s square. So now, product of the zeros is equal to one by two times of one by two, which is one by four. So one is nothing but the constant term and 4 is nothing but the coefficient of s square. So we can say that the product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by the coefficient of s square. Now, coming to the third bit, which is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x. So, let p of x be a polynomial, which is equal to 6x square minus 7x minus 3. This is by rearranging the given polynomial. So, in order to find the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial, we need to factorize the polynomial. So, p of x is equal to 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. So, this is by splitting of the given polynomial, which is 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. So, now we can take 3x as a common, 3x times of 2x minus 3 and here we can take 1 as common. This is 1 times of 2x minus 3. This becomes 3x plus 1 times of 2x minus 3. In order to find the zeros of the polynomial, we need to equate p of x to 0. We will be getting 3x plus 1 times of 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, 3x plus 1 is 0 and 2x minus 3 is also equal to 0. So, transposing plus 1 to right hand side, we will be getting 3x is equal to minus 1 and here transposing minus 3 to right hand side, we will be getting 2x is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 by 3 and x is equal to 3 by 2. Therefore, the zeros of the given polynomial are minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2. Now, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 2. So, the LCM can be taken as 6 and this is equal to 2 times of minus 1 plus 3 times of 3. So, minus 2 plus 9 divided by 6 which is nothing but 7 by 6. Now, sum of the zeros is equal to 7 by 6. So, this is written as minus of minus 7 divided by 6.
we observe minus 7 is the coefficient of x so minus of coefficient of x and 6 is the coefficient of x square so this is nothing but coefficient of x square therefore the sum of the zeros is nothing but minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square now the product of zeros is equal to minus 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 2 so 3 and 3 can be cancelled and we will be getting product of the zeros as minus 1 by 2 now minus 1 by 2 can be written as minus 3 divided by 6 here if we observe we can say that minus 3 is the constant term divided by 6 is nothing but the coefficient of x square so the relation is product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square